What's up, guys? Today it is June 28th, 2018, and today I got some news for you guys. I'm sure you've all heard Jameis Winston, quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, has been suspended for three games for allegedly, sorry about that, for allegedly, ah, mm, for allegedly um, touching, uh, inappropriate touching of a female Uber driver. Now, I know my fellow Cowboys fans are a little upset. Well, actually, a little more than upset. You know, we have to deal with the whole Zeke saga last season, and ultimately he was suspended for, for six games. Now, I will say this. I understand why my fellow Cowboy fans are upset, but listen to me. What Zeke was accused of and what Jameis Winston are accused is accused of, they're two totally different things. Even though Zeke didn't do it, Zeke was accused of domestic violence. That is a far more serious accusation than just inappropriate touching. Um, and you also have to remember, this is something that the Cowboys fans have to deal with. We have to deal with bias. The Cowboys are the most popular team in the NFL. We're the most scrutinized team in the NFL. And Cowboys players are always going to be held to a higher standard than anybody else. Than anybody else. It, that's something that you have to live with. You have to deal with that. And and just the simple fact that, you know, it just it simply does not compare to domestic violence. It just doesn't. Domestic violence, you know, after because I was pissed when the shit happened because I'm like, this bitch is lying. She's just obviously trying to ruin Zeke's life. But once you sit down and you reflect and you understand what the NFL was doing, the NFL knew that they didn't have anything on Zeke. They had to make an example of Zeke because when you look at the NFL, when you look at today's society, today's climate, we will always take a woman's word at face value. We will always do that. And when you don't, you will suffer massive consequences. So the commissioner, Roger Goodell, and the NFL, they simply had no choice but to suspend Zeke for six games for domestic violence. Because if the NFL, the NFL had to deal with the bullshit Kaepernick issue. And so when... On, on top of that, you got the kneeling shit, you got the Kaepernick issue, and if you were to flop on the Zeke issue, even though he didn't do anything, it was not proven that he did anything, if you were to go light on him, the NFL would go through a shit show. So you know what I, this is what I think would happen. Roger Goodell called Jerry Jones, he was like, listen man, we couldn't find anything, but you gotta understand, look at the climate that we're in, if we don't suspend him... It's going to be Ray Rice all over again. We're going to take a hit. It's going to hurt your bottom line, and it's going to hurt your player's bottom line. Tell Zeke that, hey, just accept the suspension. Get on with your life. You know, just do that. I believe that's what happened, and I think that was the best course of action, to be honest. You know, next time Zeke understands now that you shouldn't put yourself in compromising positions because Zeke was living in with some whore. You know, he shouldn't have been living with no damn whore. He's 20, 21. He shouldn't be dealing with that shit. You know, don't be living with nobody, especially, and you shouldn't have any significant dealings with a female knowing what position you're in. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have that. So Zeke learned his lesson, hopefully. You know, the NFL, they skirted through that issue, that domestic violence issue, which is a huge issue in the NFL and at society at large. And... I just want to let my fellow Cowboy fans know that you cannot compare this to Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston is just a dumbass. You know, we don't even know if he really did it or not, but he wasn't accused of domestic violence. So just pump your brakes. He's still suspended. He's still going to serve some punishment. Just get over it. I mean, it's not like, you know, Tampa Bay is irrelevant anyway, so we don't have to worry about them. So just move on. Just let it go. Peace.